Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Audio Jake bringing you another video. This one's Eve Online, and this video is going to be geared towards Tier 3 production of Planetary Interaction. So, hopefully, you've watched my guides. I have two videos that were the first two videos on my channel. One was Tier 1 production of Planetary Interaction, the other was Tier 2 production of Planetary Interaction. Hopefully you've watched those videos. If not, please go back, watch those, follow along, like and subscribe, leave some comments, tell me if you like those videos or not, tell me if there's anything I can improve on them, I'd greatly appreciate it. Alright, let's get started, let's do this. You're going to bring up your Neocon, and we're going to go to Industry, Planetary Industry, and we're going to bring up our colonies here. So I have two colonies sourcing electrolytes because I had a little issue with getting electrolytes and gathering them. These two planets were not being very fruitful. Lately they've been much better. I have some plasmoids, I got some oxygen going, and I got some water going. Remember those are your tier one resources, right? Here is the production planet itself and this pyramid looking scheme thing is going to look really familiar if you've followed my videos because this triangle right here these guys and these guys and this setup was my tier 2 production setup essentially so really all we do for tier 3 is we're adding a pyramid at the bottom and sourcing materials down into it essentially so remember you're create you're bringing in your tier 1 products right into the launch pad you're funneling them out to these advanced factories and this is creating synthetic oil and it's funneling synthetic oil back into this storage facility we're doing the same thing on the other side we're bringing in our tier one products into the launch pad it's sending them out to these advanced factories to create superconductors and the superconductors are going back into the storage this storage is going to route into these factories right here where we create our tier three product at these five advanced facilities at the bottom to make Akami superconductors. As you can see, I've already made a couple. I ran two days worth. I have about 75 million worth of uh, Akami superconductors. I'm going to get a little bit more than that at market. Just remember a quick overview. Your basic factories create tier one products, right? Your advanced factories create tier two and tier three products. The advanced, or the actually, sorry, the high tech production plant creates tier four products, essentially. So, how many of these can you put down? Well, if you have level five of your command center, you could, this is an optimal setup. You can't really put any more than this because although you have plenty of CPU power, you don't have enough power. Because if I try and build another, right, let's say I try and put one, let's do a one for one. Nope, can't do it, see? So this is the optimal setup, being that our advanced facilities can only create five units. So you simply count them up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I can create 40 units of synthetic oil, 40 units of superconductors. So you can really only feed four factories. The fifth one over here on this side, on the south side here, is for overflow just in case I want to bring finished goods. Let's say I go to the market and get finished goods, basically being superconductors and synthetic oil at a good price. Let's say somebody tried to sell them for a really, really low price and I bought them their finished goods. I would come, I would route them into the storage and into these, and I'd be able to feed this overflow from the storage itself because I, they wouldn't be on the same cycle as these tier two production facilities. So remember, each cycle you're creating 40, 40, that's 80 total units. You're only going to be able to feed four factories because in order to create tier three, you need 10 and 10 of tier two. So you can only feed four of them. The fifth one is for overflow. So this is the most efficient way I have found. Uh, if you found a more efficient way, let me know in the comments of the video. I'd truly appreciate it. And maybe I can make a video and redo this. But uh, so far on a single character, this is the most efficient way I've found to create a tier three product 
on one single character and have it be very low intensive, right? For when it comes to the amount of work you have to put into this and create some very good passive isk, essentially. Now, you can create uh, other characters with planetary interaction since you're an Omega account. You have two other account slots, right? So I would suggest that you can pause your skill queue, go create two other characters and get their planetary interaction uh, up, get their skills up essentially. And if you remember, let's go to skills under planet management. The most important skills are command center upgrades and interplanetary consolidation. You can get away with having planetology and remote sensing and advanced planetology all at four. And even sometimes you can get away with planetology. Uh, nah, it needs to be four. Strike that. <laughs> you need four because you do need advanced planetology. And you can only get advanced planetology with planetary planetology four. Remote sensing, you can get away with this being um, level three, essentially. But remember, in order to be efficient, and in order to have it make sense for you to make passive ISK and it to be worth your while, your command center upgrades and your interplanetary consolidation needs to be five. You can, you can start your PI empire with these at four, level four, but you're, trust me, you're gonna run into some barriers. All right, that's the video. Nice, short, I wanted to keep it less than 10 minutes and Presto, did it. <laughs> so please like and subscribe. Please leave some comments. Uh, let me know if these videos are helpful. Um, give me some feedback. I'd truly appreciate it. This is Audio Jake signing off. Thanks for watching.